Today we're going to look at an exciting new feature of RadGridView, the ability to copy and paste values between RadGridView and Microsoft Excel. As we know, Excel has become pretty standard in day-to-day -day business and the ability to copy and paste to and from Silverlight has been previously lacking. Our grid team has solved that, however, so let's see how we can start using this in our applications as of the Q2 2010 release of Telerik Rad Controls for Silverlight and Rad Controls for WPF. So first we're going to take a look at the code that we're using in Visual Studio. So in our XAML file, we can see RAG review being displayed here, and we have a few different options set on here that we're using for our demo to showcase this functionality. First off, selection unit is going to be cell instead of row so that we can pick individual cells to copy and paste, and selection mode is extended, which means we can make a number of selections and we're not limited to just a single one. We also see clipboard copy mode. Now, there's a few options you have here. I'm using all, but you can have it to include the header, the footer, to have no copy, or default. Like I said, I'm sticking with all, and we'll see everything being copied and pasted from the grid to the Excel file. Same with paste mode. You have a few different options, and depending on how you need to paste values into your RAD grid view is how you're going to want to utilize this feature. Looking at the code behind, we can see all I'm really doing is setting up standard class with a few different types of values so we can see how they're working with the functionality and when we load we load up a bunch of random values put them all in there and set that item source to the grid now that we have the demo running we can see that we've already populated our rag grid view with a number of values so the first thing i want to do is just do a simple copy and paste of a few rows to see what it looks like in excel so i'll click two and i'll shift click down here to 60 so we get a number of rows control copy or control C rather to copy and we see Silverlight wants to ask us for if we need permission and yes we'll give her permission so we are copying it to the clipboard and now we go down to Excel control V to paste and you'll notice that not only did we get the values we also got the headers now the same can be done with footers or to remove headers and footers and just get the actual data so that's pretty cool but that's showing a number of rows maybe we want to select this cell and this cell and this cell this cell, this cell, and this cell. Number of different cells, the number of different places. Well, if we copy, go back here, get a brand new area, and paste, we'll see that not only do we get the headers, but we also get the values in the exact spots they were previously in our RAG grid view, which is pretty neat. Next, we want to see how it works to actually edit this data. So we'll click on three, shift click down to 60, same deal as before, copy, and paste in our values into Excel. Now we want to make a few changes. So we'll say instead of member three, this will be member three of four. This will be member X, he'll be all kind of mysterious. And this will just be member. We also want to change our daytime value. We'll say this will be in the year 2010. And the big int will instead be 153. So now all we do is we select that same region, copy, go back into RAD grid view, paste, and we instantly see all our changes updated from the Excel file we were working in. So we have the different member name string values changed, we have our date value changed, and we have our integer value changed. This is making it really easy to work between Silverlight RAD grid view, as well as the WPF RAD grid view, and Microsoft Excel. So stay tuned for more videos showcasing new features and functionality of RAD grid view and the rest of the controls from RAD controls for Silverlight and RAD controls for WPF.